Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Monday, December 19th, 2016 and today in our Tech News Update we have uh, BlackBerry that uh, basically is trying to turn its business around and is totally unable. They've, uh, you know, tried to release uh, some Android phones and uh, basically they used to have up to 20% of the phone market. That was amazing. And now it's uh, a brand that's going away, basically. Well, it seems that BlackBerry has sold the manufacturing rights to the BlackBerry brand to a company called T uh, TCL. Now, TCL, for those that wonder what that company is, is also what um, makes the Alcatel branded phones. So, uh, And the Alcatel Idol phones are actually uh, surprisingly popular. So I guess this is kind of uh, the end of an era where BlackBerry, still in the red, still losing a lot of money, uh, isn't really able to uh, turn things around. And uh, they want to focus more now on just, you know, security in the enterprise for mobile devices. So we'll see if uh, they can, uh, you know, get out of the, uh, of the drowning water and uh, maybe get uh, a little profit eventually. Well, it seems that the investigation for the uh, problems in the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 has ended. They have sent uh, this investigation to many laboratories around the world, but we are starting to think that maybe they don't want nobody to know what happened. Um, no news as to will this study uh, or investigation be revealed to the consumer or not and uh, of course they now know why the phone catches fire but will we ever know of course we'll probably know somehow but um, it, it would be interesting if Samsung would just open up and uh, unless it's something that's extremely um, you know uh, dumb to a point where she, they, 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 they kind of don't want to reveal the problem but uh, I'd like to know you know the real cause Google Maps just got a little better. If you are disabled and, of course, um, are in a wheelchair, Google Maps will now actually pinpoint wheelchair-friendly locations on the map. So if you, uh, you know, it's a, that, that's a challenge when we look just here, when I look at all the different places around the city. The number of places that are actually, um, you know, where wheelchair-friendly are not that numerous. And to have Google Maps add that to the possibilities on the map, I think, is a very, very good idea. And um, let's hope that they even add, you know, other types of uh, disability uh, friendliness location, basically. Well, Linda.com had a data breach. It seems that they have probably um, hacked 55,000 accounts. Now, Linda says, uh, Linda.com says that they have already reset password for all of these accounts. But they say that as many as 10 million accounts might have been breached, uh, not on the level of the passwords. It seems that more on the level of what types of courses, for example, people were following. So um, that's uh, another of those little data breaches. But at least it seems that this one was taken really, really fast. So uh, if you are a Lynda.com user, uh, there might be a uh, account reset password that you'll receive when you try to log on to your Lynda.com account, and uh, you might receive a notice if uh, you know that maybe the courses you were taking were kind of uh, leaked. Well, Super Mario Run is the hit of the winter uh, and uh, Christmas holiday season, probably. And it was released, of course, last week. But now, um, two things have been coming up with this uh, game. First of all, the fact that if you are not online, you can't really play. Meaning that if you are somewhere where there's no internet, for example, you're, the game doesn't work. Uh, which, which is a plague. You know, I have a few games that I've noticed that when I uh, take for the subway, for example, and are, am at places where there's no internet, there's actually um, a lot of... Uh, of problems um, with some of the games that just don't want to start because no internet is there. 
But another problem now more and more users are saying is the uh, high quality of data that uh, the game's been using on their smartphone. And you know, for a lot of people, the, the amount of data available on the smartphone, on the internet connection, is quite low. So the first thing that you want, you know, is to have a game that doesn't take that much. Uh, if you take an example as uh, of Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go is surprisingly, takes surprisingly little data uh, when you consider the fact that, you know, it has a map of the area and everything. But uh, more and more users are saying Super Mario Run is consuming a lot of data on their uh, devices. So we'll see uh, what happens with this. Well, GM will be the first to deploy self-driving cars on the Michigan roads. We were talking uh, a week or two ago about the fact that the first state to have official clear laws and regulations for a self-driving car was the state of Michigan. And GM says they want to be one of the power of uh, the self-driving cars there. So it's going to be interesting to see what uh, will appear uh, with this. And at the same time, Uber, that is testing self-driving uh, taxis in California, is kind of a little stubborn right now and saying, hey, we don't want to, you know, ask for a special permit to have self-driving cars on the roads. Well, that was what it looked like at the meeting um, last Wednesday. Donald Trump um, asked all the uh, big company CEOs to come over and talk about technology, talk about a lot of little things, uh, including probably, uh, first of all, the technology, first um, also the security side, um, also talking about jobs in the U.S. And so um, one of the things that we've seen is that many, many different um, employees of these big companies said, you know what, we are not going to go against our principles. And if some of the demands of Trump make uh, things go at the company in a direction that they don't like. A lot of employees said they will resist change. So uh, kind of interesting here. A lot of uh, a lot of people are not really happy. Um, and a lot, you know, I think what was important here for um, the big CEOs of the, all these big companies, I think it was important that they went there just to, you know, sure they are there. But, um, you know, Apart from that, you don't have to apply necessarily with everything that the president asks for. And uh, finally, in the United Nations, um, and of course a few researchers have asked for this, but the United Nations wants to tackle killer robots in 2017. They say that uh, the time is near where killer robots will exist, that the military might actually make some, and they actually want to create a possible ban. And many, many people uh, want uh, to ban the killer robot possibilities, including uh, many big CEOs like uh, Elon Musk uh, and, and so on. So basically, um, this is to, you know, we're getting to an era where killer robots are almost there, if not already there and the more and more intelligent killer robots, of course. So uh, this is a kind of a scary thing, and the United Nations wants to tackle this to make sure that, uh, you know, we don't lose control of all of that. So uh, we'll see what happens and if even a ban is possible. So this was the Tech News Update for Monday, December 19th, 2016. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And uh, if you enjoy our videos, thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed today's news.